Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the brand new Hero Hacks, Julie Walker, the Phantom, from Boss Fight Studio. <laughs> This figure has been in production for pre-orders went on sale exactly a year ago. Uh, I, I was one of the ones to pre-order. This is the only figure I got because I wasn't sure what I was getting into. I'd never purchased uh, from Boss Fight before. I had never gotten a Hero Hacks figure before. So I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. Uh, but Julie Walker is one that I wanted. Maybe eventually I'll get Kit Walker and maybe Zorro and Flash Gordon and all those others. Uh, but for right now, we're going to be talking about Julie Walker, the Phantom. So as you can see on the card here, we have the image from the uh, comic book uh, where Julie Walker took up the mantle of the Phantom. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, the video is here on the channel. Check it out. I do my review of the, uh, vid of the uh, comic book. Uh, it's in the Phantom playlist. So just look that up on how Julie Walker became the Phantom. Uh, she is the twin sister of uh, one, the 20, 20th or 21st Phantom, something like that. I think 20th Phantom, I want to say. Uh, I could be wrong, uh, but again, that's on the uh, video on the channel. Uh, so as you can see, this is a Hero Hacks, uh, meaning you can swap out parts with other Hero Hacks figures to create a custom figure, I guess. But I'm really loving this box art. I think I'm going to keep the box. And then we'll turn it around. And as you can see here, we've got the Kit Walker Phantom side by side with Julie Walker. It has a bio here for Julie. When the Phantom asks, you answer. Old Jungle Sang. Julie is the daughter of the 16th Phantom. Okay, so I was wrong. Not the 20th, not, not the 21st. This Phantom was the uh, 17th which would make her 17th and a half, I, I want to say, uh, because he did go back to being the Phantom. He was sick uh, during the time she took over. Uh, Julie is the daughter of the 16th Phantom, along with her twin brother. Julie endured the tough training regimen required of all future Phantoms under the watchful eye of their father. In due course, her brother took up the mantle of the Phantom. On occasions when the 17th Phantom was injured, incapacitated, or missing, Julie assumed the role to ensure that there, were, there would always be a defender of Bengala. Equally com competent as a warrior and crime fighter, her adventures served to keep the legend alive and ensure the evildoers remained nervous while her brother healed or tracked down criminals in other parts of the world. On one of her missions, she saved the life of her future husband and went on to marry and have children. Her restless nature and desire to learn led her to travel the world, and when the occasion arose, she used her training to protect others, both in and out of costume throughout the latter half of the 19th century. In later life, Julie traveled to France to study medicine and used the knowledge to aid the people of Bengala when she had retired from the life of crime fighting. She lived out her final years in the Skull Cave, tending the injuries of the Phantom and treating all those who needed her help. And I want to say there is a an alternate version of Julie, a more purple colored. Uh, this color is violet. A lot of people confuse violet, purple, and pink. A lot of people say that purple or violet is actually purple. Others say that pink is, or purple is pink, but this is purple. I mean, this is violet. This shade right here is purple on her uh, groin area. That is purple. There is a purple colored one, I want to say. At least there was in the uh, on the website. There, I believe there's also a purple um, fan, uh, Kit Walker as well. So this is violet. This is kind of a mix of purple and violet, that color there. So anyway, let's go ahead and open her up and take a look inside. Okay, so first we're going to take a look at some of the accessories. First one here is Julie Walker's sword. Saber is what this is called, a saber. Very nice. I love this silver paint job, uh, gold paint here on the uh, knuckle guard and on the handle. Kind of a brown. They didn't really do wood grain, but they did like a brown almost wrap. Very nice. Uh, Julie does come with two guns, just like any Phantom. Except for the, uh, the latest release from um, the Defenders of the Earth line. Uh, the Phantom didn't come with two guns, for whatever reason. There's that. 
Uh, she comes with two closed fists, and they do both have the rings on them. There's the skull ring on the right hand, and the good mark on the left hand. Uh, she also comes with a spare head that has the cow the hood on it. And she comes with a stand, a hero hex stand. Uh, however, uh, when I was taking her out of the package, I tried to get her to uh, stand to peg into it. She doesn't. For whatever reason, they made the pegs. I think these pegs are made for uh, male figures. She's got a little bit smaller feet than a male figure. So her foot can't really peg into any of these. So that's a little disappointing. But here we have Julie Walker without the hood, just the mask. Uh, this is how she comes occasionally. This is how she dresses occasionally in the comics without a hood. And swap out heads. Just pop it off. Pop the other one on. Just like that. And to me, this one kind of looks like the uh, female phantom from King's Watch uh, from Dynamite. You know, because Lothor from the Defenders of the Earth, he takes up the role of the phantom after the phantom dies. I believe it is the 21st phantom who died. And he was entrusted to find uh, his only, live, uh, the only descendant of... Christopher Walker. So he takes up the mantle of the Phantom because there must always be a Phantom. And he takes it upon himself to find and train the uh, last living descendant of Christopher Walker. Come on. I'm having a hard time with this peg. So I think I'm going to keep this one on her. Uh, I, I I prefer this one a lot better. As you can see, the hair is highly detailed. I don't, well, I don't want to say highly detailed, but it is quite detailed uh, compared to some figures. My Alexa uh, off to the side here. I have, I've given it a different name. Uh, I call it uh, the same way that Star Trek refers to their system. I don't want to say the name because it'll light up, but whenever I said compares, it lit up like it was trying to uh, recognize that as the other word. <laughs> so, But the belt is loose, as you can see here. Uh, she does have quite a bit of articulation. She is a 3.75 inch figure. Uh, similar to, um, say, G.I. Joe's, but her arms can go up that high. I'm going to move it over this way. There we go. Up that high. They can rotate all the way around. She has a single hinge at the elbow, and these are pegged in, so you can pull it out if you wanted to. I'm not going to because I don't really have a need for that. Her head can turn all the way around. It can look up. It can look down. Uh, there is an ab crunch, albeit not not a very good one. Oh, and the swivel is at the ab. It's not at the waist. Uh, in fact, it looks like oh yeah, there it does. There is a waist swivel. It's just very tight. And it's hidden under the belt. As you can see there, her legs can go up that far. They cannot go back. They're hindered by her butt. Swivel at the thigh. Uh, they can go out to the side. The gun holster doesn't really affect it at all. It's a very light, soft, rubbery plastic. There is a double knee joint. So, you can get quite a good bend there. And then, there is an ankle joint, swivel, up and down, rocker, side to side. 
so not bad very very nice figure uh definitely will not go with the phantom from defenders of the earth that we recently got but let's go ahead and swap out our hands real quick so you guys can get get a good look at that and since there's no since the stand doesn't really work with her uh, you're really going to have to find, balance her uh, in order to get her in a good pose. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good fighting stance, fighting pose. Uh, not too bad. I'm worried, though, that that's going to be the the poses you can get out of her are going to be very limited because of the size of the pegs on this stand. As you can see, it says Hero Hacks. Highly articulated character kit system. Uh, but yeah, the pegs are way too big. So won't be able to use that for her. Uh, so like I said, you're going to be very limited on the poses you're going to get with her. So now let's see how she holds her weapons. So we'll swap those back out. I probably will end up, uh, if I'm able to, order a Phantom Hero Hex figure. Just so that I have them in the same scale. Now, I don't like the way she holds these guns. They really should have gave her a trigger finger. But I guess you can angle them in such a way. There we go. That's alright, I guess. So let's go ahead and put these in their holsters. They look pretty good in the holsters. I gotta say, I like that. And we'll go ahead and give her her sword. Uh, the sword, it fit, it's, it fits pretty well in there. Try and get her to stand with the sword. <laughs> See, they, they really should have thought the stands through for their female characters. Um, yeah, the sword is kind of loose in her hand, so that, that sucks. Uh, but the, the plastic is very soft, so I'm sure you can kind of tighten, there we go. Let's bring it over here. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So let's see. Yeah, you can close her fist. Um, so it can hold things a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, the sword does tuck pretty nicely into her belt. So if you want to have her holding her guns instead of her sword. Sorry about that, guys. The walls here are thin. If you want to have her holding her guns instead of her sword, the sword does slide very nicely into her belt. So that's a plus. Uh, but let's go ahead and compare her to the Defenders of the Earth Phantom that we just got recently. So as you can see, he just kind of towers over her. <laughs> She's almost like a kid compared to him. But still, you know, for the Phantom Collector out there, anyone who likes the old uh, pulp-style heroes, it's a... It's, it's a it's a nice figure. You know, we don't really get very many uh, Phantom figures. So it is nice to get this one. I would like to eventually see a larger scale Julie Walker. Maybe one that fits in with the uh, Defenders of the Earth line. I think that'd be nice. Alright guys, so I'm in the process of editing this video. And I was able to get her onto the stand you really have to force her feet on there. And I was very, very careful because I really did not want her heels to break. Because of it. So she will fit onto the, st onto the pegs. As you can see, this one didn't go on all the way. I 
I don't really want to try to get it on any further than that. But that's about as far as I was able to get on that one. Uh, so you can get her into some decent poses. Uh, once you force her onto the pegs. Uh, and under better lighting, I can see her costume is actually blue. This is blue. Her trunks are purple. Uh, what I had said was that they were violet and purple. Uh, this is more of a violet color. These are, this is more purple. I mean, more blue. And I realized that I forgot during the editing process, I forgot to kind of show you all the angles on her. Let's get a close up of her face. There we go. End of the sword. And her skull ring. better okay and of the gun and of the good mark can't really get it in focus there we go All right, and then go ahead and back up a little bit. Give you a nice shot behind. And I will take some still pictures as well and zoom in from there so you guys can really see. But I wanted to do that real quick while I was in uh, the middle of editing uh, so that you guys could really grasp uh, the detail they did. So there you guys have it, the Hero Hacks Julie Walker Phantom from Boss Fight Studios. Uh, this has been a year in the making, guys. Like I said, pre-orders went on sale liter literally a year ago. And one of my gripes, I guess, with the company is that they don't really keep customers updated on the uh, how the manufacturing process is going. I've had to ask multiple times, you know, when these figures were going to be released and you basically have to ask through Instagram and it's hit or miss on whether or not they get back to you. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, like I said, the only real problem I have is with the stand, which I've got her leaned up against the Defenders of the Earth Phantom right now because I couldn't really get her posed right. And as you guys might know, for those of you longtime viewers of the channel, I have been gone for a while. Uh, I think my last video was back in October. I've been busy with school. Uh, I've been writing more books, uh, trying to get those done. I, I've just been extremely busy. For those of you who are interested, I have published three books so far and I've got more on the way. Recently, my Hollow Screams Day of the Doll book was produced for Audible. So the audiobook for, file for that is on Audible now. Uh, check it out. It's narrated by very talented Benjamin Hunter. Uh, he's one of the co-hosts for my other channel, uh, Psychology of the Unknown, where we talk about serial killers and true crime, stuff like that. But this book is for children. It's for really... If, Anyone will enjoy it. It's ages 7 and up. Uh, it's very similar to, uh, say, Goosebumps. Uh, we've also got Ghost House, 
which eventually will get an audible uh, production as well. I'm working on it. It's slow. It's a slow process, guys, uh, and expensive. So, uh, but we have Ghost House. We have Day of the Dolls. And for those of you who are into true crime, we have Jack the Ripper, the man of man behind the blade. It's available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and on Audible in audiobook format. I'm working on. I'm going to have uh, coming soon. Uh, probably not until the end of the school year, though. Uh, I will have more videos coming out this summer. We're going to be doing a different format. Uh, we're going to have different shows on the channel. Stay tuned for that. So anyway, I've been Shannon. This has been Com Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.